Hey guys, welcome back to the Grafana series. In the Prometheus series, we have explored in detail how to get notified when something goes wrong using Prometheus Alert Manager. We can achieve similar functionality with Grafana Alerting. I would highly encourage you to watch that Prometheus Alerting video to get better understanding about alerting part in the monitoring world. In this chapter, we will learn how to send notifications to Slack based on alerting rules in Grafana. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let us begin with creating an alert rule which is essentially a condition to check if everything is functioning correctly or not. If this condition is met, Grafana sends an alert. To create an alerting rule, let's go to alerting page and click on this manage alert rules. And now let's create a new alert rule. Let's give the name as ICPU usage alert. In this alert rule, let us check if our utility pods are consuming more CPU. And let's select our data source as Prometheus and give this prompt here. This query calculates the sum of the rate of the CPU usage over the last 5 minutes for all the containers excluding this default pod container within pods whose name match this pattern utility iPhone API. And finally, it groups the results by pod. Again, to understand this query better, please watch the prompt kill chapter of the Prometheus series. In the expression section, we should use the reduce to convert the time series data into a single value. Here the input is A, which is nothing but the result of this prompt here. Also, we can add as many expressions as needed to aggregate our data accordingly. Now we should set the actual alert condition. Here the input is B, which is nothing but the output of this reduce. And here let's give the condition such that if the CPU usage is above 0.4, send an alert. And next we should specify the folder where our alert will be stored. Let's call it as alerts and configure how often this alert should be evaluated. Well, and let's give the evaluation interval as 10 seconds. Create and let's set the pending period to none to trigger the alert immediately once the condition is met. If you want to wait for the certain time after the condition is met, we can set the time accordingly. So finally, we should select the contact point. This contact point determines who should receive a notification when the alert rule is triggered. As we didn't create contact point already, let's create one by clicking on this link. Let's add the contact point. Let's give the name as Slack because I want to send this alert on the Slack and select the integration as Slack. And in the recipient field, let's enter the Slack channel name where the notification should be sent. So let's give the alerts as the channel name. And finally, we should give the Slack webhook URL. This is my Slack webhook URL. I have explained in detail how to create this webhook URL in the Prometheus alerting chapter of the Prometheus series. Please check that out to understand how to create webhook URL for your Slack account. So this way we can add multiple contact point integrations like email, Slack, etc. So let's delete this extra integration for now. And let's test this Slack integration. Send test notification. As you can see, test alert is sent. Let's go to Slack. And as you can see, we got the test alert here. That means our Slack integration is working fine. Let's go back to the browser. Great, our contact point is created. Now let's go back to our alert rule and select this contact point. Let's refresh to load the new contact points. Let's select the Slack. And finally, we can give annotations to add more context to our notification messages. Let's give the summary as ICPU usage and description as alert on high CPU usage. We can also add custom annotations and let's give the name as CPU details and let's give the annotation content as this. The values for these variables are dynamic and come from the labels attached to the metrics queried by the Prometheus expression. And as our condition is above 0.4, let's give the content as CPU usage greater than 40%. Finally, let's save the rule and exit. So now our alert rule is created and when this alert condition is met, we configured to send a notification to the Slack channel. To test if this is working, let's create some load on a pod that consumes lot of CPU. For this, I am using the double RK tool which I explained in detail in the Kubernetes autoscaling chapter. This command runs 5 concurrent connections in 5 threads for 300 seconds. Now let's go back to our Grafana dashboard and as you can see the CPU usage is increasing. Once it exceeds 40%, it should trigger the alert to Slack. Let's wait and see. As you can see, the CPU usage is greater than 0.4 for this utility API that we configured. So based on our alert rule, we should receive an alert in the Slack. Let's go back to Slack. 
as you can see the alert is firing with the high cp usage and if you click on show more this is what we added in the annotation section to give more context to this message so let's go back to our grafana and go to alert rules we can see that this rule is firing and if you go to contact points it shows that the last delivery attempt was three minutes ago and if you go to active notifications we can see that these alerts are active with these instance labels so this data helps us to track our notifications we can also silence the notification just like we did in prometheus alerting so this is how we can get notified when something goes wrong in our services i hope you found it helpful my name is pamanil tapu and I thank you very much for watching this video if you like the content please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates